You know, this morning I was getting up and I was like stressed out about everything I had to do and I just like, you know, took a deep breath and was like, I have to realize how lucky I am to be able to do what I'm doing here. I grew up in New Jersey, 20 minutes outside of New York City, and my mom was um, a part of a community theater. She was a young single mother with two kids and that was her outlet, was theater. And when I was three, they needed kids for a show. They stuck me on stage and I loved it. And then in high school, I really made the decision that like this is my heart's passion and this is what I wanted to do. So I went to school for it. I went to Bennington College in Vermont. And that was sort of my first taste of like other life. And then I lived in the city for eight years and I worked for famed theater there called Performance Space 122. And I just learned so much from that time there. When I moved out here, my friends that I was coming up with in New York thought I was nuts. You know, seven years we were working towards this place. Who's gonna make it? You know, who's gonna take that next step? And to everybody, I was throwing my career away. So then I came here, I started what I was doing, slowly but surely it grew, and then we started hiring people from New York to come and work with us. And then they got it, they were like, oh, oh you, you did it. You're not only living in a beautiful place, you have a company, you are creating, you get to do what you wanna do every day. And to me, that's really what my dream was. I wanna create from a place of love and create from a place of community. And for me, that's what's important. It's not about being famous. And I respect that. I mean, I have friends that are there, and it's really cool to see. But for me, it's like I've, I've made it in my way. Now looking back on it, I realize that like I was basically born to do this. I was born in the theater, and I'm so lucky to be able to do that here.